Good morning. I'm making a progress report today uh, from Korea. Um, and uh, I'll be sharing some pictures with you. Share screen. And uh, once I'm set, I'll pray. So bear with me. There you go. Um, let's start with prayer. Father, as I uh, share uh, this month, uh, just uh, half a month, what you have done, God, I give you glory. I give you thanks, Lord Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, month of February started me coming to Korea and enjoying this wonderful, wonderful church. There's a pastor, woman pastor right here, Pastor Young. She was serving the church in Koreatown, 1986 and on. We're under Pastor Don Kim and Esther Ahn. And she was also pastoral intern, taking care of the children. And apparently she asked me to preach uh, for the children's department quite a bit. And uh, she would know me as Pastor Babo. So subsequently, after her education was done in America, she came to Korea and planted a church in Hanam. Um, and she built a beautiful, beautiful church, uh, Serom Church, and uh, developing true disciples of Christ. And very honored to be uh, with her as she actually was seeking me out but she she only knew me as a pastor bob o and of course uh in the internet if you put a uh, bob moksa it's not gonna pop uh, but then she found some missionary from cambodia who somehow in his sharing talk about me she contacted him and she contacted me through car talk and so i was here last year the church preached, and now she asked for a three-day uh, conference, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, asked me to preach four times, wow, and asked me to pray for everybody, and I end up praying for everybody, and like kindergarten kids, elementary kids start breaking out into brand new tongue, and it was really interesting how there was a man whose wife spoke in tongue, daughter spoke in tongue, he was anti-tongue, said, that's not from the Bible, that's not right. Uh, and without any context, I don't know who he is, I just pray for him and immediately receive gift of tongue, wailing before the Lord, you know, and so wonderful testimony like that. Um, and then I, uh, next week I was at uh, um, I should have actually saved a, a picture for Hippum, but uh, uh, Hippum, I did a special lecture. We had a wonderful time. And then I went to the uh, hospital, Elan Clinic, um, and I, I received 61 point out of 100. I got D minus for my health. And basically it's because uh, I need to lose 42 pounds. I don't know, I'm 180 something. So if I lose 42 pounds, I think I'm going to disappear. But Anyways, <laughs> I need to lose weight. And of course, uh, we met with Pastor Lee. Uh, we are publishing books together, and that's the book that I'm uh, teaching out of right now, Gospel of Suffering. And then I, we met uh, another brother. He is actually in charge of uh, InterServe um, Southeast Asia or something like that. And we met through mutual friend, and we met Chiang Mai in Korea, uh, his name is Andrew. He's just wonderful, wonderful man of God, and so he uh, he's now based in Korea. So every time uh, we could meet, I mean, he has to travel hour more than an hour. I have to get on the subway and travel hour or more. But um, you know, when brothers who's running the same race meet, uh, it's just so much so much joy so much dynamic um and then i met another brother who uh, came to cambodia even and he really uh, loves me 
the last time we were together, I have him preach. Uh, I think it was at Jesus Street Church. And, and so he's also a great uh, translator. He, all the big shot revivalists come to Korea and he translate. But for the last three years, he really had a lot of physical challenge. And so I just wanted to see him and, and pray for him. And so, yeah, that, that was really an treat me to in the in the back some hole in the wall but you know this well known matter of fact they they have that snangmyeon place there and then the other cross you know so it's doing so well but it was a special dish i really enjoyed um and then on the way to yangju uh, i met with a team that's been doing work for pastor pong and i've been translating pastor pong's uh, books um, and they are the one who's running the uh, re memorial, uh, something of the Pastor Bang. Pastor Bang is my spiritual mentor who passed away at age 104, left 114 books. And I'm in the process of translating 10 books by him into English, therefore into Kamai. And I'll be actually teaching Pastor Bang's book. In, they'll be reading in Kamai, I'll be reading in English. And it'll be a fantastic book to teach but she has been a wonderful supporter of all my work including not only translating pastor Bang, but a mission work and she uh, listens to the daily gospel every day hello Igon <laughs> and and her husband who was a medical doctor specialized in blood cancer wow so after i told him about charlie he said yeah the little kids maybe could recuperate, but not adult. But so we confirmed there was God's miracle. Praise the Lord. I The next day, uh, or that day, I went to Yangju uh, City. So I need to meet a um, missionary from China, but because uh, my sister Somi asked me to meet them. Uh, so in order to do that, I had to spend all day and actually to book a hotel at Yangju. But thank God I had a friend who as a ministry in Yangju. And this pastor is also very, very special. He looked like uh, Korean Pavarotti, but he um, not only, he actually is a revivalist, he sings well, but um, many years ago, after my revival meeting in Seoul, a little minivan pulls over, stops me and kidnaps me. And he says, Pastor Oh, uh, we've been doing revival meetings for two, three years with you as a keynote speaker. I'm like, who are you? And I don't know you. And I've never been to city of Yangju. He said, well, I have a church for young people. And what he did was he would worship. He does all the revival meeting. And it was time for speaker than my YouTube uh, preaching. He, he would listen to my YouTube teaching. He selected. Like and he said, this year, sir, we need to have you in person. Because all my people are saying that, where is this? Is this, is this guy for real? So I was kidnapped. So I went to Yangju and I did a revival meeting. Ever since then, we became such good friends. Wow, you know, he has a great church of young people. Uh, so it was a, a mid weekday, and he, he, even his daughter came over from Seoul. And this two couple in the middle, uh, he's, he's actor and she's actress, and, and uh, they are just beautiful people. Uh, he especially uh, was doing some acting in the small theater, you know, um, I love small theater, you know, play. And so I, when he uh, did couple, I think I've been to a couple of his uh, play and it was just fantastic. So Lord, uh, just, well, uh, I would have, I would have done. So yeah, please pray. Um, for me, by the time that you listen to this, uh, I would have been done with Swan. So I would have to make a Swan report, maybe in a few days. But thank you, Lord bless you. Pray with me. You know, I decided to put this in in between so that we could be in prayer for one another. Amen. Lord bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name, <laughs> we pray. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.